Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do another get ready with me using Shantakai products. After my last video, I had several other requests. Please use some items that were not included in the first video. So I have created this look using all subscriber requests. I pulled out lots of goodies that you guys requested. I had a request to use Just Skin on camera, this special Eclat Do powder, the cheek gelays, and some other favorite lippies. So I wanted to go ahead and create this look so you guys can shop the pre-sale. It is still going on. I still have my code. It is Abby. Sylvie Sale 30, hoping that I didn't misspell it. And you can use that to pre-shop you guys until July 27th. Then the regular sale will be starting on July 28th through August 1st. But I highly recommend that you go ahead, use the early access code because this is a highly anticipated sale. This is 30% off Shantakai. 30% off rarely happens in the makeup realm and things are already selling out. So just thought we would go ahead, do another round two of Shauna Kai requests. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I had several requests to use more Shantakai on camera and we have one more day to purchase from the pre-sale. So I am doing a full face of Shantakai requests and I'm hoping this is a helpful video. Okay, first of all, I had a question about the new Radiance Elixir and I do have a little deluxe sample. So I am going to be using that on my skin this morning. And then we also had a request to use the Shantakai Just Skin. So we're gonna start with that. I'm gonna try to put as much Shantakai goodies on my skin that you guys requested. So here is the color of the Radiance Elixir and it is super pretty. Now, someone had asked, I have not picked this up just because I had felt like I had lots of little glowy kind of primer things, but I will say I'm tempted myself because this feels absolutely hydrating and wonderful on my skin. So we are just gonna prep the skin with this little Radiance Elixir. So pretty. And this one also has lovely skin benefits in it. So I like that idea. It's very thin, watery. And as you can see, you guys, I am just getting a nice little glow going on my skin. Now, I was asked to use Just Skin on camera. And here is the deal. I have loved Just Skin for many, many years. Um, I've gone through several tubes of this and then I fell in love with future skin. So that is like my ultimate. Um, but yes, do I still love this? I really do. I just tend to reach for future skin because it is just my ultimate kind of favorite hydrating kind of cooling foundation. But this is fabulous as well. And the Just Skin actually has a little bit more coverage than my future skin. So now I'm in the shade Vanilla and we are just gonna go ahead and dab this on. It is just exactly what it says it is. It is a Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer. So the way I like to do it, and I, you guys, I used a little bit too much product here. You don't need to be spilling out as much as I did. A little goes a long way. I'm gonna just start with my fingertips and we're just gonna kinda melt that into the skin. And then I just like to go through with a little beauty sponge and then I will pounce it into the skin. So again, this is gonna give you a really pretty finish on the skin. It does have a little touch of SPF. It is just 15, so I would not use that as your 
SPF for the day, but I do think that any kind of SPF in foundation, I just consider that as a bonus. So I am just taking the end of my little sponge here and I like to just kind of pounce that into the skin. You're gonna see, you guys, it looks just like skin, but better. Okay, so just feel like this makes my skin look really fresh faced. Then we're gonna use a sample of the Real Skin. This is the eye and face stick, and I did order this at the sale. So I am getting this. I had originally bought it, but not in the right color. So I'm actually gonna use one today. I'm gonna use this to conceal and kind of add a little bit more coverage where I may want. I kind of love the eye idea of that. So I am going to take this and we're just gonna kind of pat this in with my finger here. And as you know, I love the Listilo camouflage is what I tend to use, but I wanted to use this on camera to show you guys. These are just super versatile because you can even use the stick all over your skin like foundation. So I like the idea of that. Now I've got just a teeny bit of discoloration over here. So we are going to use this just on that cheek area. I'm just going to dot a little bit of this on you guys just to kind of show you that we can kind of clear up any kind of discoloration. And I love using the warmth of my fingers to kind of really pat it into the skin. Okay, here is the finish just like this and so glad to have pulled that out because it reminds me why I have always loved the Chantecai Just Skin. So yes, I have both foundations, Future Skin, as well as Just Skin, and I kind of go through phases of using them at different times. I have been pro Future Skin for months and months, um, but I still love this, and you guys literally have had this for decades. So that has been in my repertoire for quite some time. Then I am gonna use my favorite bronzer ever, we're going to use this in Go Wow, and this is just, you guys, a fantastic bronzer. You've seen me use this a million times on camera, and I just love it. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this. We'll warm up the skin. Now, I only have the Go Wow. I don't have Serena, but I did order it because many of you told me I will need that for the winter months, but I love this color. I love this kind of red cocoa tone, and I just think it really kind of livens up my skin a little bit. So I cannot recommend the Real Bronze bronzers enough. They are fantastic. You're gonna see it's gonna kind of melt into my skin. It's got this really unique kind of gel formulation, and I just find it to be super kind of realistic on the skin and I just love it. Okay, for eyes, I had some of you ask if I would use a few of the singles. And you guys, I ended up starting with like one or two of these single shadows falling in love and then I ended up collecting them all because they're just gorgeous. So I ended up pulling out, we're gonna use Giraffe as well as cheetah. Giraffe is just the most beautiful bronzy cocoa shade. Isn't that just gorgeous? It looks fantastic on the eyes and this is essentially like a one shadow. We're going to use cheetah just as a little bit of highlight and cheetah is just sort of your universal kind of blonde highlight. Love, love, love. So I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to use my finger just like this. We're going to pat I'm just patting a little bit onto the eye and then we are going to blend this out, but you guys are going to see it is the prettiest shade and tone ever. These just kind of make these like kind of easy, sophisticated eye looks for like using like one or two of these shadows. So pretty. I'm using my little blender brush and then we're just going to kind of spend some time 
blending this on to my eye. Okay, you guys, just a nice little wash of bronze. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of this up in that brow bone. And I also like to take just a little, a little of this and we're just gonna put just a teeny right above my, right in the middle, right above the iris. It's just gonna kind of give a little bit of light to this look here. Just gonna kind of pat that on. Then what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of my bronzer and I'm just going to put a little bit of that in the crease. So I've just got kind of this super easy eye with a little bit of shimmer, not over the top, but then I just like to add in just a little bit of my bronzer in that crease. You can also do that ahead of time. You could create a little crease with the bronzer and then put the shadow on. I tend to go in afterwards if I want to kind of blend everything together. Just adding a little bit more definition to the eye. So I'm just kind of looking right above here, just giving a little bit more of a crease. Then we're gonna go in with clearly one of my favorite eyeliners. <laughs> this one is Chantecaille in Slate. And as I've said, these are fantastic gel-based eyeliners. Uh, I also have it in Raven, and then I just picked it up in Jasper. And, um, gosh, I'm forgetting. Jasper, I think Jasper and Amethyst. And I know I've had the kind of deep espresso one, but anyhow, you guys, these are fantastic kind of eyeliners, especially for more mature eyes. I highly recommend gel eyeliners because once you put them on, they stay in place. They don't kind of move around and mess around and mess up. So we are gonna come, and I love to use slate with this bronze, kind of a little bit of that uh, warm and cool together. And we are just going to come in near the lash line and then we'll smudge this out. I'm now going to just smudge and soften that up, smoking this out on top of the eye. This pencil, by the way, also makes a really pretty smoky eye, like you can use it as shadow as well. Then I am going to take my ultimate favorite, Chantecaille Faux Seals Mascara. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you will know that this is my holy grail mascara. So you guys, I cannot recommend this one enough. It literally has peptides that's going to help your lashes grow. And I love the brush. Just love everything about it. So for me, this is just worth every penny. But if you can get it at 30% off, that is even better. So I'm going to go put on some mascara, clean up my brows, and then we'll kind of finish off the face. Okay, we have eyes on mascara. And then we are going to use a little combination of blushes and liquid highlight today. I have all three colors of the Cheek Gelée. So I have this in Lively. I have it in Vibrant as well as in Happy. So this is Happy. This is Lively. And then this is Vibrant. So Lively is going to be more of your peach tone. Happy is your, your pink. And then Vibrant is going to be that kind of brighter, more vibrant fuchsia color. So pretty. And don't be scared of that one. It is super pretty. Well, actually, I'm actually going to put a little bit of Vibrant on for you because I know that although it is deep, it is going to... I'll just put a little dot here. 
you can use your fingertips or you can take your beauty blender or sponge and then kind of just tap this into the skin. So again, you can see it's going to give me a little bit of a flush, but it is not too scary. We're going to go ahead. Now I've already heard from a few of you that the Radiance Gel Bronzer is out of stock. So sorry about that as well as the Blur Powder, but I am going to be using a different powder today, the Eclat Dough that is a limited edition powder that is gorgeous. So that's going to be a little bit more of the illuminating powder. I love that one and I thought we would use that on camera today. So just going to use that kind of vibrant. Do you see how that just gives me just like a really nice natural little flush? Now I was asked if I would use the Eclat Dough. This is the illuminating powder and I don't know if you guys can see but I have used a ton of that. There's like a nice little dent in there. This is just a gorgeous powder. So we are going to use that today. I am going to go ahead and use it with the buff and blur brush because it is my favorite little powder brush. This is sort of a balm to powder and I just like to take a little bit of this and it's just going to literally give my skin a nice little glow. I find this to be similar to the blur powder except with a little bit more illumination. Here is this beautiful powder on the skin. This is another beautiful one. And of course the packaging is just outstanding. This was the holiday collection here, um, but it is a beautiful powder. It's gonna have just a little bit more of that kind of illumination to the powder versus the blur powder, which again is amazing, but it just isn't gonna have that a little bit of that kind of glowy aspect to the powder. So if you missed out, that is a good option. I am going to top off my blush here just with a little powder blush and we're going to use my favorite. This is in Bliss. It is just a beautiful kind of pink rosy tone. I find it to be like my perfect little blush, not just because of the name. It's just such a perfect like neutral. We're going to do a quick little spritz of rose water to set everything before we put on a quick lippy. And as I have said, you guys, this is a must have. <laughs> I don't know how many of these I've gone through. I pick up the one that you can do the refill. It's the harvest refill one. So good. Um, just feels fabulous on the skin, but a great way to kind of like once I powder down, I want to set it, but I also want to take away any of that kind of powder look. So what I find is it just hydrates my skin, gives me a little bit of glow that I like, but as this kind of sinks in, it's just not going to affect the makeup or anything. Okay, then for lips, I ended up pulling out another one of my oldies but goodies. This is the Lip Chic. You guys, I have gone through so many Lip Chics. I love them. I also have Lupine, which is my favorite. I have Honeysuckle. That is gorgeous as well. Here is Honeysuckle. And then this is an oldie but goodie. This is Violetta. So this one's going to be a little bit deeper and I wanted to show you this on purpose because the reason I love these is that it's again kind of that glossy kind of lipstick super hydrating but you can go with some deeper colors without it being too opaque on the lips so This is just one of my fun colors. This is what one of the Chantecaille global makeup artists put on me. He recommended Violetta, Damask, I think Nocturne, kind of those jewel tones. Um, he said that will just really liven up kind of more mature com complexions. He didn't say it that way, but he was just saying that go ahead, have fun, use these more bold colors. And this one is one of my favorites. So this is Violetta. 
I'm gonna show you a couple more for fun. So I love that color. I had a request to use Honeysuckle on camera as well. Such a good color. So this is Honeysuckle. Isn't it just a perfect color? It's like a little bit more than a nude. And here is Honeysuckle. Honeysuckle is in the Lip Chic formula. Then we've got a little bit of a brighter one and this is in Impatience. And this is just a fun poppy color. I thought we'd go ahead and put that one on. And this is the shade Impatience. And again, this is in the lip veil. So I always like to describe the lip veils are kind of a little bit more balm like versus the lip cheeks are very glossy. You're still going to get a nice little gloss with the lip veils, but they feel a little bit more like a balm. And I feel like my lip cheeks feel like a little bit of a feel like a little bit of a hybrid between a lipstick and a lip gloss. So, the, so my personal two favorites are the lip veils and the lip cheeks, but I've heard fabulous things about the lipsticks. I'm sure I've had one of those in the past. Um, and their lip liners are great. Two of them that I um, two of them that I've owned in the past and that is in my list to pick up are Discreet and Nuance. And then I did pick up a lip gloss from them because I have to say, I don't think I've ever tried one of their glosses. I ended up picking up the shade Lucky. So I forgot highlighter. We'll do that real quick. <laughs> I have it in Sheen. I've also had it in the shade Luster before and these are just fabulous. A little goes a long way you guys. So these little tube kind of products last forever. We're going to use just a teeny little bit of this. It's so pretty. We'll just kind of put this on top of the cheekbones here. And because it is that gel formula, it is going to look very natural. We're having a little bit of a glowy look today, which is my favorite. Okay, guys, here is my final look. Hoping that I got everybody's requests in. So the sale right now, you can use my code Abby Sylvie Sale. 30. I'm going to make sure that I didn't misspell anything um, to get pre-sale 30% off. So you guys, this is huge and you definitely, and I definitely encourage that you go ahead and shop now versus later. This is a very popular sale. 30% off is pretty much kind of unknown in the makeup realm. This happens once a year for Sylvie's birthday and things do sell out. So if you've had your eye on any Thing, I would go ahead and shop today. Pre-sale ends at midnight of the 27th and then the official sale will start on the 28th through August 1st. So you'll still have a chance but I will warn I will warn you that some things have already sold out such as the Blur Powder, the Radiance Gel Bronzer, some other favorites so I'm so sorry about that but I hope I have given you some other options as well well but go ahead use my code abby sylvie sale 30 30 percent off and again you guys one of my favorite brands and i hope that this was helpful and i will be back with another video soon